hi angels welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing what's popping what's happening what's going on welcome back to the channel my name is joy and i'm your host for this youtube channel on here we talk about everything beauty skincare self-care and how to look good as student of god guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about five things that can cheapen your appearance guys if you want to be looking your best this year you want to be popping you want to be glowing you want to be looking nice and sweet and yummy whether you have money or you do not have money and you're looking for things that you have to eliminate from your life in order to upgrade your appearance this is the video for you so if this is something that interests you do keep watching so number one thing that can cheapen your appearance is excessive makeup guys you need to do makeup that suits your face you, you, you see that clean bit i did there you see that makeup you get it it suits my face so when you're doing your makeup you need to look at what kind of makeup looks better on me do i need my brows to be like really deep do i need um more eyeshadow do i need less eyeshadow do i need to use lashes or do i need like longer lashes do i need shorter lashes do i need less blush you need to consider the structure of your face your skin um your skin complexion and your undertone when you are doing your makeup just because you saw someone doing this particular makeup or this particular eye look you now say okay i want to do this eye look i think it will look good on me if at the end of the day you try that eye look and it doesn't look good on you please don't do it again when you're doing your makeup ask yourself what am i trying to do am i literally trying to max my face or am i just enhancing my features because we all have like facial features that god has given to us and we need to understand if i'm putting my blush this way does it look good if i put it this other way does it look good if i apply this amount of concealer will i look good because some of us just want to do makeup that every other person is doing just because you feel like okay that is trendy let me try this let me try that no 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 another thing that can cheapen your appearance as a lady is ill-fitting clothes some of you buy clothes just because you saw your face wearing those clothes you need to learn to have your own style you need to learn to wear clothes that actually suit your body type and clothes that actually fit okay if you want to put on like something oversized like this t-shirt now is a bit oversized but i know that this t-shirt looks good on me i would i would know how to pair this with something to just you know come out looking chic and pretty you get what i'm saying so when you're dressing when you're looking at your clothes please endeavor to pick clothes that fit you clothing that you know align with your style just because someone else is wearing this type of outfit does not mean that type of outfit is going to look good on you because sometimes we look at clothes online and we're like ah, i think this is fine this is good because the mother who is wearing that that, that particular clothes that model's body suits that clothes and then you go and buy and then you come back and you're like i don't like this why did i order this what are other vessels what are, we need to understand that you need to dress for your body type not everybody has the slim tiny waist you know um curvy features and all of that so you know how to dress if you have that type of body some people have a more like you know rectangular shape you need to know how to dress for that type of body you need to know how to dress for your body and you need to learn to buy clothes that are suitable for your style okay and you're not wearing ill-fitting clothes and clothes that do not just flatter you because you see this body that god has given to us he obviously knows why he gave us this body why he gave the other person that body why he gave this other person that body but we all have to make sure that we adorn this amazing body that god has given to us because you are not going to have another person's body you're only going to have your body so you need to make sure that you dress to flatter your body okay that is something that we need to be doing in order to be looking our best and to have a beautiful appearance guys let me tell you something sometimes i, I am caught slacking on this one i am caught slacking on this one sometimes when i'm sitting but i am learning every single day to correct my posture so another thing that can chip in your appearance is poor posture every time you're like this every time you're like this you guys you guys i know it can be so relaxing to just it can be so relaxing like but you need to learn to walk upright you need to learn to sit upright because poor posture can you know bring less confidence it can chip in your appearance it can make people just feel like mm, that person has low self-esteem when you don't but you just need to learn to have a proper posture you maybe can try yoga try going to the gym you know sometimes 
you just need to have this consciousness there's sometimes where i just slouch and i'm just like and then i just have a consciousness that oh girl you need to get that posture right so i put tuck in my back and i'm mm, you get what i'm saying so you need to have a good posture right that is something that i do not play with even though sometimes like i said i am caught slacking but it's something that i'm really working on and i would urge everyone out here to work on their posture it is so important that your posture is right if you want to have that amazing you know appearance you want people to be like mm, this girl is who she thinks she is because that is what we are looking at okay the next thing that cheapens your appearance is excessive jewelries guys we are not rappers on here okay we cannot be wearing commands and you know the heavy chains and you know eyes on my wrist no 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 we are not doing that yet yeah we are all about looking simple and when i say simple i don't mean basic okay i'm talking about simple classy sweet elegant and just mm, you get what i'm saying so please you need to learn to put on jewelry that suit your complexion like now i mostly put on gold jewelry it's very hard for you to see me on like silver colored jewelry i'm always like putting on jewelry that are you know with gold colors or like if i'm to put on any other thing if i'm to put on anything that has silver they, this is just a way i'm going to have to accessorize that particular color so you need to learn to put on jewelry that are not excessive jewelry that just are tailored to your skin complexion and undertone that will just look flattering on you you cannot be out here putting on kubans and yeah 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 no 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 we don't do that yeah nobody's a rapper on this channel okay so please you need to learn to put on you know more than two jewelry look at these earrings that i got i got this at the market and i've had this wristwatch since 2021 and it's still 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 i'm telling you this one i think it's what this, this is one of my oldest piece of jewelry i've had it since 2021 and i think i got to 2021 november and it's almost how many years now and it's still the same color okay so you need to also learn to take care of your jewelry like i do not put my jewelry in like dirty places i put them all in a particular bag some of them i have to put them in like you know nylon bags for its own purpose so they don't come in contact with each other and then do not be like you know getting um faded and all of that so please you need to learn to take care of your jewelry and also do not wear excessive jewelry you're not a rap artist okay and the next thing on the list guys i think i said five right but i'm going to still talk about number six because i just feel like i need to add this one but the fifth thing on the list is going to be your nails your nails girls your nails you're not going to be out here with long long nails we are not going to be doing that please long nails that don't even look good long nails with a lot of things or need so many colors and <sighs> girl i know that that might be your preference but if you don't want to be looking cheap okay you need to tone it down a bit you need to tone it down a bit now if you're not someone who easily like gets your nails done like me it's not all the time i always get my nails done because i love to take care of my natural nails because most of them i feel like when i'm doing too much of acrylic my nails can just wear off okay but if you're someone who loves to get your nails done all the time please make sure that you're going for dainty looking nails nails that will make you look put together don't know that when you come people are like ah. Uh -uh. Why are you? Why are you? Look, and you yourself, you're even not comfortable with those nails. So please, you need to learn to do like shorter nails, nails that just make make you look really dainty, really clean, really sophisticated. Like I said, whether you have money or you do not have money, you still need to look put together. So if you're not, you know, going to be getting your nails done, make sure that your nails are always trimmed. Make sure your nails are always straight. Make sure you like maybe apply like coconut oils on your nails just to nourish your natural nails. But if you want to get your nails done all the time, please make sure that you're still, you know, taking care of your natural nails regardless because too much of acrylic sometimes can be damaging to our nails. But if you want to be doing that, you need to be careful and also like give yourself some time and space of getting your nails done regularly. But please go for like shorter nails, dainty nails, nails that just look clean and good and go for pretty colors and not colors that are so out there that make you look strange. All right. 
that's something that's something you need to put but there's someone that loves to play around with colors which i'm not yet to say oh you must only do black you must only do no 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 no. that's not what i'm saying if you want to play around with colors you can go ahead and play around with colors but please make sure that the colors you're playing around with they actually go well together and they're not going to make you look crazy okay that's not what we want on yeah and the last thing on the list is going to be taking care of your hair if you have unkempt hair guys like now nah, this is my natural hair okay i just had to like style it um you know put some age control and just brush it and pack it all to the back simple very simple very demure looking sweet you get what i'm saying so please you need to learn to keep your hair looking good if you have wigs take care of your wigs it doesn't matter if you have one week two weeks three weeks 5, 10, 20, 100, doesn't matter. Take care of your natural hair and take care of your wigs. And if you're someone who loves to get like braids, you need to also know that the kind of braids you're getting has to look good on your face because you cannot be making hair just because people, everybody's trying that style. If you try it and it doesn't look good on you, don't try it again, okay? So please take care of your hair. Don't come out looking shabby. If you want to be looking good and you want your appearance to be looking expensive, you need to look at these six things to improve your appearance so guys this is the end of this video see you guys in another video i love you so much bye